Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Stormworks. Today we are continuing with um, the prototyping of this uh, VTOL aircraft that we um, demonstrated uh, in my last video. If you haven't uh, watched it, I suggest you go and see it. Uh, today we're going to look at the issue we have with um, tilt. Uh, the issue is that um, since this is a VTOL aircraft, um, it will uh, try to take off and land vertically. And it does so by uh, rotating the its wings so it has uh, four um, fans uh, that uh, yeah they act as turbines of the sorts and um, when when these wings are tilted uh, they adopt a vertical position and then it provides thrust to keep the um, the aircraft uh, hovering over the same spot let's say and uh, yeah it doesn't uh, move so much horizontally but it can move vertically but the issue is that as you can see uh, the, this um, pink um, cube that you see here this is the center of mass and the center of mass is between uh, the forward or main engines and the back ones. So when we, um, if if they are not providing the right uh, torque, then of course the the imagine that we in in, in a simple case, right? If if we don't have the back um, the back engines on. So they are not providing any torque. So if I just have the main ones, then um, the craft tends to tilt backwards because the the center of mass is um, closer, like it's um, offset uh, to the back part of the of the aircraft, and then it creates a torque. Uh, that will um, will make it tilt backwards. So the idea now that I have is to try to control this automatically with a, a sensor. So I added here a tilt sensor. Is this one? This is the tilt sen uh, sensor. And what I want to do now is that I had this before, but what I want to do now is uh, that I want to add a, a, a microcontroller. I will explain shortly what um, this microcontroller does. Uh, here in Stormworks, you can build your own microcontroller microcontroller so the thing is the following the tilt i can demonstrate it in fact let's save this at the moment <coughs> also to see what's the issue right <coughs> so here's my craft right and let's open the door let's go here so i have all these levers here and um, this lever controls the main engines this one controls the back engines or the auxiliary ones and this lever in the middle controls the tilt of the wings so if for example i move this like this then you see that it adopts the VTOL uh, configuration uh, so let's go back let's turn the engines on usually I put this in 60% and this what uh, this one at 20% uh, 
Uh, let's turn the engines on. And let's go forward. Let me reduce the master volume. It's so loud. Okay. Okay, we are out of the um, hangar. And now, um, let's adopt the VTOL. And here I have a tilt sen sensor. Now it's zero because the, the, the craft is not tilted. But you will see uh, soon enough that the, that the craft is going to start tilting. Let's start uh, placing pressure. And you see there, right? It starts like uh, tilting forward. And when it does so, the tilt here um, indicator is negative. And I'm doing it slowly. So now this is 11, let's increase this one. There you go. You see? Minus, it's minus, right? And that's what happens. It tilts all the way. So when the tilt is negative, it means that it's uh, tilting um, forward. If it's positive, then it's uh, backwards. If it's zero, it's uh, not tilted. So these numbers I'm using, uh, I will use now to try to control automatically the the thrust, the um, yeah, the throttle, the the, the throttle of the aux auxiliary engines. This is what I want to do. So now what I need is um, we I want to make a test where I can see what's the output if everything is correct here. Uh, I want to have a number display. What's the difference? Oh no, not this one, but this one. I want to see numbers now. Where can we can we do this? Um, there are two pair of numbers. I would like to see them. Uh, this will be tricky because all <laughs> all the places are somehow taken. And this one is uh, really big. Okay, but I will need, maybe I will need. Uh, yeah, probably this is the, the best place to, to do that. But I need, um, I need two of them, right? Yeah, let's do something. It doesn't matter. It's just um, a brief uh, test. Let's take out these um, blocks here. And let's uh, add the... the things here. Uh, yeah, anyways, I don't know if this is going to remain like this. This is a work in progress, guys. It's a work in progress. I did something stupid, didn't I? I place a block somewhere random. 
Where did I place it? I don't know. <laughs> I did something crazy. Okay, but this is it. We will find it later, probably. Okay, so now I have my indicators. Uh, I want to measure. Um, I want to measure the 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 t the what's the output. And now I will show you the controller briefly. So uh, here's the microcontroller um, editor. So here you can create a micro controller this one has two um, output um, points and two input points one input is the tilt the other one is the sensibility and the output is the up the up and the down up and down because uh, our throttle has two um, inputs one to move the lever up and one to move the lever down so the thing is and and this sensibility is because uh in the input i will i will um feed this controller with a uh, output of the tilt sen sensor so the tilt sensor uh, uh, it's giving me an output between minus 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 um, range so minus is if it uh, tilts forward and positive is if it tilts backward and i added a sensibility factor because then we can um, tweak the the or output from outside we, and then we don't have to uh, change um, all the time the like the internal logic of the of the controller so we can just change this number externally and and leave the the microcontroller um, static, uh, not not changing it um, anymore. So I will show you what is inside. So in by the way, all these um, components you can add them from this library here. There's the hotbar and there's this uh, library of components. So, um, yeah, it's it's uh, similar to the building me mechanics. So here I have the input tilt, like this is uh, what's coming from the sensor. This is my um, sensibility factor. It's just a constant number. Currently it's one and uh, so that means that it won't change because uh, the we have next a uh, multi multiplying uh, component here so it takes the tilt and multiplies by the sensibility and then the output is processed further here um, we have uh, 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 a comp comparison uh, component here it compares if the output number is greater than zero right if it's greater than zero it says true and this uh, this is a um, like um this is a junction it's called numerical junction and what it does is that it takes a, a, a number and a boolean and depending on if the boolean is on or off it lets the 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 number through or it will um if it's false then we will have this output here so currently uh the number if it's greater than zero it goes to the output up if it's uh, below zero then it goes this way and it takes the absolute value and it goes to down. So this this component here is basically to discriminate if the output goes to the up or the down, right? That's what it does. And the absolute is because, um, of course, uh, the tilt could be negative. So if it's, uh, for example, let's imagine that the tilt is negative. So if, if the tilt is negative, then, um, the 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 craft is going forward 
and if the uh, graph is going forward I um, don't need to increase the the throttle of the auxiliary engine because the 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 throttle in the auxiliary engine just pushes the the craft uh, forward so it has to go like it has to decrease right if it's going forward then the 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 auxiliary engines have to the throttle has to be decreased so it goes through this part so that's what i expect and uh, yeah if it's positive it's going backward so we must increase the throttle in the engine in the auxiliary engines so that's it guys um so let's get out of here so now what uh, i want to do now is uh, feed the tilt to the input tilt and then we have a constant number of one and we um, feed that to the to the sensibility factor and now we just have to connect oh wait this is not a number right oh no this is this is a boolean Oh, that's bad. Because... Yeah, that's a number. I don't know if to... F mm. That is a bad thing. Yeah, the, the problem now is that this, this is a boolean. It's not like a number. I didn't expect that. Well, the, the thing is that I could just um, feed the output directly to the to the engines yeah the problem is yeah this is this is not very good here okay but let's see if um if this uh, configuration because currently I, I i i won't control the the throttle just yet so it's uh, an on off the problem here is that um, with this on off is uh, we don't have like um, yeah we, 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 we would have to be changing this all the time right um, so probably we would need to input some delay in the in the here in our microcontroller because the issue is that if this is um, on or off it will be it, it will just be sending on signals right until it stabilize, st stabilizes but this could um, it could be that this is not immediate right so we have to like um, have like um, what it's called um, a delay factor in the output maybe this is this sensibility this the sensibility will be used for that for the delay factor because we don't like right now it doesn't matter which number is it if it's negative then um, we um, throttle it um, down if it's positive we throttle it up okay let's see mm, i think i i would have to change this but never mind that for now i want to um connect these two things here these are the like the numerical um displays let's they need um electricity so we will need to connect this thing and the other thing that it needs is this backlight thingy and then we're all set okay let's let's try this first <laughs> I, d I was not expecting that 
I'm not saving that by the way because this is just a very um, small test <coughs> so again let's move it to 60 percent this one to 20 percent uh, sometimes it's really hard you can um, you can change the the sensibility there of the throttle to make it easier So I just want to see if this is um, if if my uh, microcontroller is working as I expect. So if the this is the the up and this is the down, right? If the tilt is negative, I will expect the the down to to output some number here. And otherwise, I would expect the up. So let's try that. <coughs> we have we cannot change the the, the like the, the the clutch. We cannot we cannot uh, change it uh, very fast because it will tilt the the aircraft immediately so this one is starting that one is 18 okay so let's let's start increasing the um, the auxiliary um, throttle a little bit more There we go. Yeah, you see? Yeah, so it's it's working as expected. You saw there like the the negative uh, the down um the down uh throttle um numbers were going up. So that that was what I expected. Otherwise, uh we can also um test it the, the other way around yeah we have to test it because um if the if the if the other way around doesn't work then it's it's not um, useful the only problem will be when um yeah that's fine <laughs> Another way to do this is if I align completely the the center of mass for example to the main engines then if I only use the main engines the craft won't tilt. This is another way to solve this problem. But since uh, yeah since this requires like this uh, constant position of the of the center of mass and and the crop is changing mass all the time because for one uh, for example if uh, we're consuming fuel that changes the center of mass because we are we're losing mass as we burn fuel so it's not really um, a long-term solution or a stable solution okay so let's start to Oh, wait. I forgot to switch to VTOL mode. The 
tilt to zero. It's going forward. Okay. Let's decrease this a little bit. Because I want to trigger the the back the back one. The the tilt tilt backwards scenario. We're almost there. Okay, so now this is one. And I will increase the main engines. This this should make the the craft tilts ba backwards at some point we're really close now we're really close there we go yes and here we have it Okay. Yeah, another test, another wreckage. <laughs> okay, but it's working. It's it's it it's doing what I expect. Um so now, yeah, now I have the other problem. The other problem is that um instead of uh, having numbers here, um it should be like an on off. And we will have to to change the whole circuit. So instead of um let's load let's load my last save again because now we don't have the the numbers there um and let's go to the microcontroller so instead of having this negative or positive sorry instead of having up or down uh, output numbers we should have um a boolean boolean on and off and I think well I think uh, at the end it will be enough to Uh, probably at the end it's enough with this um, comparison um, component we don't need this number anymore so let's look at that so that would be here I want to remove the output up and down output down and output up and I will add output up and this is um, throttle controller um, correction Yeah. And then another one. Oh, by the way, this one should go. No. Right. Uh, no. There. Mm, this also it's an output on off output down So now, uh, okay, so let's see now. So probably we don't need that one. 
No, we don't need that one. So, <clears throat> that's the down and that's the up. So, if it's going, what do, did we say now? If it's going negative, it should throttle down. So this is up. This is up. And now I need to um, have the inverse. Uh, it's a knot, right? Not. I'll put the logical knot. Yeah, I think it's, the, it's this gate. There we go. So if it's greater than zero, it's um, it should go up because the 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 the, the craft is going backwards. So it needs to compensate. Um, if it's um, if it's the the contrary, then it should go. Um, it will negate it. So if this is um, if this is false, then this is true, and true will um, push the lever down. Um, what else? I think I don't need to multiply anything. But uh, we will need a delay. Uh, I think timer on, timer off. Which one would this be? Would be one of these timers? Variable input timer. I'll put an on signal when the timer reaches its duration. Charges up when receiving a non signal, then the channel of a period of time. Um, we would need something similar to this, but not exactly this, right? Which one would it be? So I don't know if it's a timer. No. Which one am I looking for? It's, it's similar to this one. Uh, but it's just a delay. It's just a delay. Um, it should be a timer, I think. But maybe something more complex than a timer. I think we will first um, try it without the timer. Mm, just to see what happens equals composite right delta what is the delta no 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 pulse from off on on uh, it seems that it's um Number duration, logic inputs, logic outputs, time enable. Yeah, I think it's it's um, it's uh, it's the timer. So it it takes uh, an input uh, like timer enable, then the duration, and then the timer timer timing complete. Yeah, I think it's this one. So that's uh, that's something that we have to try. And this is variable outputs are non signal when the timer is less than its duration. Um, okay. Outputs a non signal when the timer reaches its duration. So one thing is that it uh, one timer is that it um, outputs 
a non-single when when the timer reaches its duration so that is a, like a delayed a delayed output and the other one is outputs a non-single when, when the timer is less than its du duration so it will it will um it's not a delay but um it will have the own signal during some period of time and then goes off and uh, uh, and then there is this other one that puts a non-signal when the timer reaches its duration the timer will not result reset until it is signaled timer enable and then reset let's try with this one though um, so yeah and uh, the question is ah uh, this is in seconds okay so if we let's let's delete this one uh, okay so we are going to feed the 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 sensibility here it will be one if it's one it will take one second and then activate the the throttle or push the throttle yeah also probably we will need both both timers because uh i don't know what um yeah it, this trial and error it's it, it's a complex thing uh the input tilt the input tilt will be um fed directly here right so now this is uh, this has a different configuration right uh okay so now this one So now this is in fact the output. And I think mm -hmm, I think we need two of them, right? We need two of them. Yeah, it's a it's a little bit now uh, complicated, but um, I think this should work. We need another one of those timers for the knot. So this will go to the knot. Oh wait, no. What is this? No, sorry, not not like that. Um, like this, and then this goes like that. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit complicated now, <laughs> but but um, yeah, and this also goes here. The sensibility this like this time delay stuff and probably this is better if we put it here <laughs> well, <laughs> now it's just like um, aesthetics I don't like this crisscrossing of lines but probably we cannot help it but at least this is uh, a little bit more um, easier to a little bit easier to 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 read so we have the input tilt with a constant number right um this constant number is just zero this this one is zero so it's it's comparing if it's greater than zero if it's greater than zero it's positive then the 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 craft is tilting backwards so if the if the craft is tilting backwards then it will activate the, the timer that um, pulls uh, the lever up okay okay and this is like it will it will wait 
one second and then it activates it, it sends like this on signal if it's uh, uh, if it's lower than zero or if it's equals to zero then it will activate the not signal oh but probably and then it will pull it down well probably here um, Hmm. This won't work, right? Because in the case of zero, it will send a, a down signal, and I don't want that. Yeah, and this particular design is not working. So I will have to make something different, a little bit different, less than. So if A is uh, less than B, right? Okay, and now instead of having that one, we will have this one. Ah, but then we don't need the not anymore. Because it will be just true, right? So there. Yeah, it's it's a different design than we, have, we had before. Okay, yeah, but it's a little bit simplified now. Um okay i don't know guys if you're following but if you are not don't worry um you will if you're working with these things uh maybe it takes some time for you to 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 get um used to this this is like programming this is exactly the same uh, as programming so um if you know how to program then you um you understand um, I guess uh, a little bit more what I'm doing here if you don't this is a great way to learn how to program um, so don't worry about um, if you are not able to follow what I'm doing um, I'm really into the, the, the this problem and I um, I know what I'm doing but only when you have your own problem and you try to solve it yourself you will um, get a hang of it so it's I don't know if you, um, you've you been putting off in Stormworks uh, programming microcontrollers, probably you have, uh, but this is, uh, this is one of the things that I think um, uh, is very good when, when, a, when a game teaches you something that you can use in real life, right? So I, I like... Um, these kind of games where uh, you you learn things that you take um to your to your skills like you 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 develop a skill or something that is useful in real life and i will encourage you to try at first very simple things but currently i have a a very specific problem and yeah i i think <laughs> i know what i'm doing otherwise um yeah the test will tell me no it's you're going the wrong way okay so we save the microcontroller i think we can go back i think we have to delete it now because it's it's not updated anymore so we have to add it again from what i remember of these microcontrollers so let's go back to the tilt here right so let's go again with the bulb well now is the real deal right input sensibility but i will not go on um for long uh long v much longer with this video I think it's already long, but just to test if this is uh, doing something, uh, let's say, how we call it, something that makes sense, that it's not totally bonkers or unexpected. 
see so the the throttles have these um, input nodes and yeah if if this signal is on then the lever will move down i don't know by how much this is the thing ah i think i know where you set this ah it has its own sensibility here yeah well i in fact i <laughs> i spoke about this right it has its own sensibility so depending on the sensibility um yeah this is what i'm controlling with this one yeah let's see let's see it's really early we this will require many many tests so that's why i i think i won't go longer with a video because i know that uh, probably what we are going to do now doesn't make that much sense should we save it or not let's let's try it first let's spawn it Yes, this is what I don't bother like to get the, the, the things perfect or right um, from the start. I just want to involve you in, in, in the design process or the prototyping. Oh, damn it. What is this? Ah, look at that. It's, al <laughs> it's already... Ah, damn it. What is this? You see, it's already um, doing something here. But why? The tilt sensor is zero. Ah, uh, because... Mm, yeah. We have a problem with the microcontroller, of course. Because these things are true at the same time? No. It's greater than zero. No, but this is false, right? It seems that it's sending an on signal all the time for the up. So it says that it's, it's greater than zero. It cannot be. It's greater than zero. It, it can't, this cannot be. I think the problem is the timer, probably. Well, but the outputs are non signal when the timer reaches its duration. The timer will reset will reset when off. Ah uh, I think uh yes. No no no. I think this is I have an issue with the timer. Damn it. Okay. Timer enable. Um, outputs a non-signal when the timer is less than its input duration. The timer will reset when off. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe a uh, variable input timer puts a non signal when the timer reaches its duration. The timer will not reset until it is signaled. Probably I need this one. Because the, the issue is that. Um, The issue is that it's uh, outputting an, a non-signal all the time. That's the problem. Okay, but here I have another option. I can disable it when it's not...
Ah, sorry. Not that way, but that way. So that means that if it's, uh, it can be, it only can be one or the other, not both at the same time. This is the signal. We have to try different things. So these timers are reset uh, by this input. So if this is true, then it will reset the op right and this will be off and the other way around if this is true then it will reset this one okay and again i would have to change let's see if this one makes sense because i'm not sure so again so this goes to the sensibility this is the tilt sensor this is the down and of course at the beginning when when the vehicle is spawned of course there is um, there is a tilt there so that's I think that's that was what was going on now okay do I need um, any electric connections no everything's fine let's spawn it again let's see Oh again. No guys, I have to <laughs> I have to figure out what's going on here. Okay, never mind. So yeah, this is um I I will leave this for another episode because I feel like I need to to really get this working in the right way. The other thing would be to take out the timers entirely. Yes, console tsunami. Take this out entirely. And just bring this through. So now we are just um, sending this directly um, to the output. If it's greater than zero, it will go up. If it's less than zero, it's uh, down. That's it, nothing else. Otherwise it doesn't do anything, hopefully. Okay, let's um, save this, yes. Now get out, now um, remove the, the thing, and now um, yeah, tweak this, we need to tweak this, so now the sensibility goes to the sensibility, the measurement here, the down to the down and up to up hopefully this will work now let's see and it's again But it's zero.
ok no this one Okay. Oh, now it's the other way around. Zero point one. I see. Okay. Constant number. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if this works. Again, we take out this. And again. Sensibility, sensors. Down and up. Okay. Let's see if this time He's not doing some crazy stuff. Yes. Now it seems that it's uh, working. Twenty and sixty again. Okay, let's let's test this. Let's test this. Um, so it seems that now it should work. Let's uh, change to daytime. Yeah, there. Let's switch to VTOL. Now it's at 20, right? And we are almost 60. This is like the usual thing I do. 
And now let's start bringing this up. This is not changing. This is 21 and 33, that's okay. That's 16 and 22. Nothing changing right now. Nothing changing. Twelve and twelve. Probably nothing will change now. Let's see. Okay, these are now 100%. And now we start moving the throttle up. This will climb. We will. Sh we should see a change uh, when this uh, hits like the 16 revolutions. The tilt is not changing, this is 16. Going up. Nothing changing. Now it's going. Aha, uh -huh, look. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> look guys, it's working. <laughs> I mean, the, the craft was destroyed, but you saw there how the 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 throttle was moving right so now yes it's it's like a really hard um oh it's destroyed okay <laughs> we're out of the we're out of the of the respawning um area or i cannot take it back but I'm very glad that it was like it's not doing something crazy. It's just that what I said before, right? Like the, there is a tweaking of the of the timing or of the sensibility. It could be that I can just fix it uh, just by um, bringing uh, the sensibility down or something, um, or I have to include a timer. But it's uh, it's uh, doing what I expect. Uh, but this is engineering. This is how it works. Okay, guys. So our prototype is um, in flames now. <laughs> I hope you um, like this video. In the next videos, I will be still addressing the this issue. Hopefully, I, I have something more stable. Let's see. So hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.